Okay, hello and welcome to uh, my update on the images and videos and stuff you've been seeing on my channel. A lot of those have been screenshots of what I've been up to on this server. And uh, I thought you'd all need an update because I've not been up to uh, much on here on the YouTube. So uh, this is my update. Now, last time you saw this house, it was made out of stone brick. Those. And then I built this. I'll just take you a quick, I'll, I'll give you a quick stroll of my base. Like, this is the bees area, and I've not, not, not done much on bees. It'd be nice to get someone on here who knows a bit more about bees than what I do. And then, like, this is my main base area. Now through here I have a, an access tunnel that goes to a friend's base and like if we trade items through the cart there and then this is my ore processing machines I uh, just chuck cobblestone in there and there and then it goes through to the pulverizer so like I'll, I'll give you an example so like oh shit no no don't put that in there there you go, there's a piece of cobble in that one and a piece of cobble in this one. Right, so when it goes into here, it turns cobble into gravel, and then the gravel goes into here, turns into sand, and then the sand goes into here, and turns into dust, which goes into the autonomous activator, which is around this side. I covered it there, look, so you can't see it really, but... So as you can see, i got pulverized tin all there. And then... This basically goes into a sifter. If I can get the thing to. They are oak sieve, gravel. That one does gravel, this one does uh, dust. And then this collects the items, sticks it into the chest, and then I've got an ME basic import bus which takes it from outside the chest. I just. Basically, whatever I put in these two chests is going to go into the ME system, which is here. Then I have all the items I've been crafting. Uh, this server is pretty cool. It's like it, it's a play grid server, so like I've got an infinity XP tank room. Like these are essenceberry bushes. Like the XP grows onto the bush, and then the harvester harvests it and puts it into this chest. And then this is then piped from the chest into the autonomous activator, goes onto the XP drain, into the tank, and then into this big tank. And then this machine here bottles it, you know, like XP bottles. Anyway, this is my, this is just my my main base room. Like I've got radio and everything, but I, I can't play it because it'll it has copyright. So I'll just get flagged on YouTube. And then I've got potion brewing. I just chuck stuff in there. Auto Disenchanter Brewer, all XP books. And then, if you, you shouldn't, make, some people know about this. This is a, a mod from Biblocraft, and uh, basically it copies the enchanted books. And then I've got tanks with like milk, um, oh, what's it called? End Reef? I can't remember what it was called. Reson Resonant Ender, that's what that is. Lava, you matter, and then mob essence. And these are all like tanked and stored everywhere. I've got a squeezer here creating something, I can't remember what it was. Then we have a force infuser here and a force infuser over there for dark craft. And then we have dimensional doors so we can travel to each other's house. Uh, deep dark. And then I have a couple of ages and travel books and stuff and then uh, on this level this is my uh, animal slash mob farm pl plus my subnet work with uh, soul sanding and then I got a mob, mob farm in there and then this one's for a wisp 
Where is it? There it is. How did it get trapped? Oh, oh, I just had a thought. Have I got any of these left? No. Oh, let me just do this real quick. Uh, I forgot what it was called. Oh, we got one. I'm going to capture this so that I can spawn them. Yes, I got a wisp. There we go. I didn't break any redstone in there, did I? I hope I didn't, anyway. I'll just take a quick look. There should be two lots of redstone. That one activates that, and then... Ah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, th these two buttons, I have um, quite a clever little trick I made. If I press the top button, that switches it off, and this one switches it on. If I press that, and then this switch water starts coming out, and it, it's a constant supply. Like, not an infinity source, it's just a bucket of... of which water which circulates it's quite clever how I've done it and if I just switch off by this but obviously if I step into that it gives me the withering effects and but like this is a I use this for skeleton spawner I stick skeletons in and skeletons spawn and walk into the liquid and they turn into wither skeletons obviously so I can get wither heads and spawn the wither and shit and then I've got my sheep farm and my pig farm as you, as as you can tell, this is modded Minecraft. It's not normal, so yeah. Anyway, next level is my Thorncraft room and build craft some build craft stuff. I've got assembly tables and stuff like that. But I've not completely finished this yet. This because I've got some uh, advanced lasers to go in here. I've got um, all this stuff to fill the warded jars up with aspects. And then I've got my infusion altar. Uh, if if you're interested in joining the server, then please do contact me or message me. There is hundreds of ways you can contact me. I'll give you a quick. No, wrong one. Where is it? Where'd it go? There it is. It took me a second. Yeah, I've. Uh, had to get nodes spawned in because uh, there is a few little bugs but like my thumb thumb and omicron I've researched quite a lot so yeah as you can see I've done quite a lot of research I've got really cool ones and stuff if if you're really interested in joining I, I'd be happy to uh, help help with people I don't, I don't, I don't really mind no. I've pretty much finished all the mods on this so uh, if anyone's interested in coming on and like helping out or getting into some of the mods then uh, feel free like it's an open server for playgrid so you need a playgrid account to access the server uh, I'm gonna uh, take you a quick stroll through everyone else's house on here so I'm gonna start with uh, this one now I'm not gonna disclose names because obviously I'm it's data protection. Like, if if you want to find out who's playing on the server, then you gotta come on and find out who who people are and stuff. But this is uh, someone else's base that I've helped helped with. If if you want a list of mods, then I'll put a link in the description to the mod pack. I'll take that out of there and put that in here. But anyway, yeah, it's pneumatic craft and. Plenty of other mods, thermal expansion, etc. But yeah, anyway, uh, I'm gonna just shut up now and just like carry on showing you what's like real craft and stuff. Yeah, I'm not much of a big person to like get hits and stuff on YouTube, so I, I just take it as I go. 
but yeah. I thought I'd do an update because I've I've not been able to record recently because of my computer. Um, I've just recently built a new computer and I'm hopefully going to be live streaming soon. I'm just waiting on a better connection. This is some of the stuff that I've been helping out with. Like, for other people to uh, enjoy. You got a tree farm here. Yeah, but if you're really interested in joining, like this this guy who owns this house, he's just recently joined, and I give him a, a little bit of a help out with stuff. So, and then we've got last last person who's on this. Well, second to last person who's on the server. There's not really done much on here. But yeah, if you want to build a house near mine, I, I, if like if you do come on and want to build a house near here. I don't mind supplying blocks. I'm going to take you to uh, the admin's house, who's not, not on very often, but... Anyway, I'm going to show you it anyway. I'll uh, also tag two channels to the two people that play this play on air, obviously, like, because I don't mind. Oh. Not been here for a while, so I can't really, like... I can't remember if I chunk loaded the area. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, there'll be more to come. I've also repurchased Daisy and 